Okay, so here's uh, example one with the quotient rule. So this is probably one of the uh, simpler examples that we could have um, with the quotient rule. You know, it's just uh, a simple linear function on top and another simple linear function on the bottom. Um, but it's uh, good to look at ones like these. So um, remember what the quotient rule says. If you want to take a derivative of a top divided by the bottom, that's going to be bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> all divided by the bottom squared. Okay, so if we want to apply this to our situation here, um, what are we going to have? Well, bottom is just x minus 5. Okay, so we have x minus 5 times the derivative of the top. The top is x plus 2. Uh, what's the derivative of x plus 2? It's going to be 1 plus 0. In other words, just 1, right? Okay, so uh, that's that first term. Then minus the top, x plus 2, times the derivative of the bottom. What's the derivative of the bottom? Well, the bottom is x minus 5, so its derivative is 1 minus 0, or in other words, just 1. Okay, um, And then all divided by the bottom squared, so in other words, x minus 5 squared. And we can just leave it like that. There's really no reason to FOIL that, because that's x minus 5 times x minus 5, right? Um, so we don't really need to FOIL that. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and simplify that now. <clears throat> so when we simplify, uh, what happens? x minus 5 minus uh, x minus 2, right? So be careful when distributing this minus sign. Uh, multiplying by 1 doesn't really do anything at all. But then here, minus x minus 2 is what we have there. Uh, and then all this is still being divided by x minus 5 quantity squared. So now we're pretty much there. Uh, x minus x, those cancel. And then we have minus 5 minus 2. So that gives us uh, minus 7 on top. So minus 7 over x minus 5 quantity squared. And uh, that's our answer for our derivative. That's example 1 with the quotient rule. Um, I just want to point out real quick, uh, be careful with that uh, common mistake um, that's very easy to make if you're just uh, starting with this kind of stuff. Um, you know, f over g primed is not the same thing as f primed over g primed, okay? What would happen if we tried that here? You know, um, derivative of the top is 1, derivative of the bottom is 1, so if we try to do it like this, then we would just end up with 1 divided by 1, which is 1, um, and that's, you know, uh, completely different from this, you know, so, uh, if you accidentally do something like this, then you're going to get an answer that's just uh, most likely just going to be completely uh, different from the actual answer. So you'll want to be very careful about stuff like that.